New at 5 tonight, a Manchester woman accused of cruelty to farm animals faced a judge this morning. Authorities say their investigation led to more than 200 neglected animals being seized. Fox 61's Aisha Bow joins us live from Enfield Superior Court with what's next. Aisha. Hi, Madam Brent. Good evening to both of you. That woman, Rachel Kornstein, right now stands accused of what police say was her depriving up to 200 animals, including dogs as well as livestock and birds, of their basic needs. No, none at this time. Thank you. No comment from Rachel Kornstein and her attorney as they walked out of the Enfield Superior Court on Tuesday. Your Honor, the uh, Yukon Animal Clinic would like to address you with that problem. Kornstein is facing six counts of cruelty to animals. According to Animal Control in Suffield, they launched an investigation in January after receiving a call about a calf that appeared to not receive proper care. We learned a search and seizure warrant resulted in nearly 200 animals, including cattle, up to 137 chickens, ducks, and dogs being removed from Kornstein's lease farm. Police say the animals were deprived of proper food, water, and medical attention. You want to make sure that she's not allowed to have animals again. Also in attendance in court, members of Desmond's Army, a group dedicated to the proper treatment of animals. Try to hold the courts accountable to use Desmond's law, which puts a pro bono attorney or um, a law student, as you saw. To make sure someone is representing the animals in the case, we know lawyers from Yukon Animal Law Clinic have been appointed in the case. Connecticut Attorney General William Tong also filed a motion for custody of the animals in the case. And we learned within the last two weeks, the attorney general announced the state has secured custody of those animals in this case. And at this time, Kornstein will be back in court come April 8th. For now, reporting in Enfield, Aisha Bo, Fox 61 News. Aisha, thanks. State police need your help finding a Stafford man.